Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShop.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Um, about a month ago, I decided to make my own take on the 4x4x4 four uh, four by four by four LED matrix, 60, 64 LED cube. And uh, this is the prototype, obviously. And I'm using green LEDs in both cases. And this one, I think the camera is making it look a little bit more diffused than it is, but it's uh, this is the final version. It's uh, I might still add some software additions to it, but uh, as of right now, it's running the same pattern. The LEDs are certainly brighter than the prototype. I'm using clear green LEDs. And what I've, what makes this ki uh, this kit a little bit more special is I'm only going to sell it in DIY kit form. Um, is how good it looks is entirely up to you. Uh, how artistic you are, how uh, how much of an attention to, de to detail you have. What I've done is on the PCB, you'll notice that there are 16 holes. And when you take an LED, you can basically make make your own matrix just by using the pattern on the printed circuit board. So there are 16 holes you can make each layer of 16 piece by piece. You can do it a whole bunch of different ways, but this is a nice way because this is sitting on um, some standoffs. So once you have it set up, you literally just put your, your LEDs in, you do the bending, you do the soldering, you make layer per layer, and then you solder the layers together. And when I make the assembly video, I'll be detailing how to do that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the light. Uh, and it's not, uh, I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick it up in the darkness. Uh, I'm only going to show both of them uh, side by side for a second in the dark, and then I'm going to focus in on the uh, final version on the right. So because the LEDs are brighter, you can actually see the direction of the LEDs better on the prototype, but they're much dimmer. Uh, the version on the right, again, looks more diffused in the video, but it's uh, from a human pair of eyes, it's much prettier and certainly more eye-catching than the duller color on the, the left version. So what I'm going to be, to be doing when I make the uh, assembly video is I'll be showing you some uh, tips on testing your LEDs as you go along. Um, using a multimeter, it's actually very easy. The only d really difficult part, and it's not difficult, it's just a matter of, uh, again, how much patience and how, uh, how, it, how much attention to detail you have is soldering the layers together. Now I'll be offering two different uh, ways on doing, when doing that, uh, and I'm going to make it so that it's as easy as possible for you. A good soldering iron is uh, required though, so now I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to uh, show you the uh, kit version up close. The kit version sits on four standoffs and it comes with a, a 9 volt 1 amp adapter. You simply plug it in. This is the on off switch. It'll have more than 10 patterns and uh, once I get more LEDs in stock I'll probably offer it in uh, red, green and blue. Yeah, I'd say yellow, but not overly interested in yellow. Uh, anyway, so uh, it's very easy to assemble. The uh, there's a, a few resistors here. The programmed pick chip, five volt regulator, um, some capacitors, a switch, four and four transistors. And then all you have to do is solder one thin wire from each layer down onto the board and that's your control layer. So very very simple to make and uh, a lot of fun to make too. It makes for a great conversation starter and a great decoration. So thanks for watching. I'll be making an assembly video soon. Take care and thanks for watching.